Hello there folks and welcome back to another Demogen Tries where today I, Demogen, will be trying Scourgebringer or Scourgebringer uh, depending entirely on where you're from and how you pronounce that particular word, I guess. Um, I'm sure the devs have their own ideas. This is an early access title which I've been following for a little while. Um, it's a 2D pixel art rogue light, I believe. Um with some metroidvania elements according to various tags on various things uh this particular version is available on the xbox game pass beta thingy which you pay like a five or a month for um which is proving very very good value for money um they've just released final fantasy 15 and uh plague tale on there um which are both very high profile and still quite expensive games and to get them for five or a month, for as long as you pay that subscription, is, is excellent, excellent value. Anyway, that's not what you're here for. Scourgebringer. Um, let's take a look at the settings, because I've had to have a little fiddle with these, so uh, let's take a look through them properly. We've got language options, which automatically changes everything as we go, which is nice. Screen shake can turn off, vibration on, in-game timer, so I'm assuming the speedrun style settings. Um... For some reason, and I'm not entirely sure why it does this, if I put it on borderless full screen, it sets my resolution to 3620 by 2036. Now, that resolution might mean something to somebody else, but it doesn't to me. I, I wonder if it's to do with... No, it's nothing to do with the pixel perfect. I've no idea. I'm going to leave V-Sync on because it's a pixel art game and they tend to make OBS go... Um, if I don't leave VSync on for that. Controls, map display style, toggle or hold to display. Mouse aim is on. We've got some controls here. Um, let's just double check. Jump and... Slash are in the right places. Smash is Y. Dash, shoot, block, fury attack. Those seem good to me. And interesting, we've got some accessibility options, which I like. Hold up to auto slash, so you can um, hold the button down to just constantly attack. Change the game speed. So if, if you want to, to turn it down a notch because it's too fast for you. And it does look like it's going to be a fast one. Um, if you're epileptic, I'm, I'm guessing this is for. You can turn off the blinking background. I'm going to leave it on for now just to see what it's like. And this I really appreciate you can actually turn off the um, the pixelized text rendering and turn it into a more HD font. Um, for me, if if this font was any smaller, then I might actually consider turning it to HD um, because I find that some pixel art fonts can actually be quite difficult to read when they are small. Let's get into it. We don't know why it ca where it came from and why it started to spread the scourge across our lands. The scourge bringer, our end. Oh, the, that, that guy right in the centre at the bottom of the blast. The countless deaths it brought is our new reality. I like the art style. We ventured in it. That should be into it. We ventured into it, hoping to find answers. No one has returned from the depths. K K Kira, go forth, my child. You are the strongest of our clans, our last lights. I'm guessing that's Kira. You've got cool hair, too. May you accomplish the impossible task of repelling this ordeal. Mm, they're going to need some grammar fixes. You cannot repel an ordeal. The scourge bringer awaits. Repelling this menace would work. Repelling this catastrophe. But an ordeal is an intangible thing. You cannot repel an ordeal. Anyway. Okay, we're in and hostile environment detected. Enabling anti-threat protocols. Proceed with caution. Okay, let's test. Right, we've got double jump from the get-go. Wall climbing. 
Get a lot of lift. Got a lot of control here. Um, the game I noticed in the advertising media has been likened to Dead Cells, which I really enjoy, but, uh, versus, or rather, Meets. <clears throat> Excuse me. Meets Celeste. I really liked Celeste. I was awful at it. Um, so... We'll see how this gets on. Oh. Oh, are these tutorial bells? Yes, they must be. No, they're just chimes. That's a nice little detail. Lockdown in progress. Unknown threat spotted. Suggesting dispatch using force to lift the lockdown. Ooh. So our attack carries us forwards and into the enemy. I appreciate that. Especially with a faster pace, it means that we can stay on top of the the enemy. I do like this big kind of... It's not an afro, um, but this stylized bouffant hairdo that we've got. It, it adds mass to our character. Out of range enemies, suggesting dash attacks to reach distant threats. Yeah, there's a sense... Uh, there's a little bit of auto-locking. Nice. So it's a really floaty feel. However, of course, you can be harmed during dash attacks. Long reach required to exit suggests combining a double jump with a dash attack. Sweet. Weakness analyzed. A heavy smash will be very effective if timed properly. Sweet. Uh, health is in the top uh, top right? No, top left. Because I can do cardinal directions. Um, so that sends us... So we can go back to where we were. Enabling long range armament. Blast 32 units can fire bullets with energy. Energy refills with the strength of user impacts. Close combat force to refill. Yeah, so when we're attacking... Right, um... The... The ranged attack auto locks on. We can get an awful lot of uh, height and distance with this. Um, so, we should go through the ordeal. Oh, who shall go th who should go through the ordeal shall be gifted by the blood and bear its mark. Blood is power, thou shalt seek his power. Who should go through the ordeal shall be gifted by the blood? They who go through the ordeal shall, shall be gifted by the blood. Yeah, slightly odd English. Um, I don't know who the developers are. Lots of maneuverability here. Quantum distortions detected. Analyzing. Portal to an unknown place. Possible exit. Enabling mapping sensors. A map, you say? So there is a Metroidvania aspect to this. And interestingly, we can actually... Yeah. What can we enable in? Yeah. Right, let's go. So far, this is very, very tight. The Entangled Ingress. Arriving at an unknown location, high density of threats detected, extreme caution applies.
strange egg. So this is where the, the, the dead cells inspiration comes in, I guess. Oh. Like that. So the music only comes... Are these... looking at the floor there and wondering whether those were spikes they are not yeah so there's a series of gauntlet like rooms i guess whoa take that What's this do first? Ah, blessing shrines. Reveals greed's position on the map throughout every realm. Reloading energy slowly recharges. Last 32 reloading energy slowly recharges automatically while there are enemies around. Enemies are stunned for 50% more time and 10%. Let's go with that. The music's really good as well. You probably noticed. Nope. Ow. I took damage. Oh. We did take damage from the, these things down here. They are spikes, but they only show up when there's enemies in the room, I guess. Oh no! Hmm, I wonder if there's a way of getting HP but hello. Oh, here comes a new fated on the brink of madness. Welcome to your last resting place. <laughs> oh right, now this um is the the flashing background. Hmm. It's not particularly obnoxious. Oh, it's a shop. You can tell because it says shop. What am I doing here? Same thing as you, lost soul. Looking for answers, though I believe there are none. So I wonder these shifting walls for my own projects. I can be I can be of your assistance. No. I can be of assistance to you, or I can be of assistance if you feel like it. I'm a wandering merchant, to put it simply. You will most likely need goods to repel those ordeals, won't you? And again, repel those ordeals is weird grammar. Let me show you my wares. Oh, and I won't take money. I want the shiny droplets of yours. They have their use around here. Name's Greed. Ah, this is Greed. Please drop by any time, that is to say, with droplets. That's quite funny. Minigun. Cucumber. Demon horn. Can't afford that. I think not. No. I think that was a mini boss. Seismic activity detected. Suppose this threat might have unblocked an exit. Strange egg. HP.
Well, I wonder if there are things hidden in rooms. I, I'm guessing probably not. Oh dear. We are getting a little bit low on the old HPs. Right, and this is where we spawned, isn't it? So we should be. Ret to go. Bonk. Altar of Blood, shop, mini boss, not an actual boss, a mini boss. I'm guessing that's the boss to the right. I, I love how it goes all metal. No, we died. The chiming tree. Oh, so this is where the rogue light elements come in. Allows to trust travel to any visited room from the map. Combo meter. Interesting. Hello. Ah. <coughs> Are you a new fated? That's grand. <coughs> I've been waiting an eternity by the tree for a new expedition. Who am I? Huh? Get, get a Garrow, I suppose. I'm from Expedition 6. Oh, was that 16? What's about this? What? What's about this place? What's this place? The Great Chiming Tree. It's the reason you arrived here, the reason you are still alive. I guess. I can't remember why I'm here. I must help. <clears throat> blood, blood is power. Hmm, I need to think. Thanks. Now, the Entangled Ingress. So yeah, so that's our hub of sorts. That was a good start. I'll just take loads of damage. Uh oh. I think when it does its exclamation mark. No. Nope. Yeah, when it does its exclamation mark, that's when you want to hit it with the um, the smash. Increases sword damage. Because it stuns it out of it. Yes, that is true. Uh, we just picked up something. I don't know what it was. Oh, that's 
that's interesting. So that's what the fast travel thing does. That's that's really interesting because that basically means that if you if you meet a dead end, you can get back to it really easily. That's, that's a really interesting flourish. Oh. Damn it. I suck. But I've got an upgrade thing. So let's see. What can we have? Creates a wave attack upon landing on the ground from a dash. Oh, can we check... No, but we can check out the first tier by the look of it. Builds a combo meter based on your speed and attack variety. The bigger the meter, the more the droplets. Combo gets halved if hit. Combos break 25% slow when there's no enemy around and completely stop close to shops or altars. Two more permanent max HP. Start with a more powerful gun. Interesting. Um, I'm going to save up for the combo thing. Because getting more droplets overall will mean that we can get faster through the tree. Combat is very, very smooth. You don't actually need to point oh it increases max hp don't mind if i do you don't actually need to uh to faff around with boss judge bodybuilder body bolt ow No, ouch. Ow. Nope, where am I? Ah. That might end up being a problem. The uh the way I y you lose yourself on the screen. But right, let's get this combo thing sorted. Onwards we go. Right, so we've now got a combo meter. One. Shop. Shop. BHP. Increases max ammo. Mini gun. Oh. Uh, let's go right. Damn it! 
I am not very good at this. To be fair, I didn't expect to be. Enemies actually only cause damage, I think. Yeah, they only cause damage when they do their exclamation mark thing. So that's where you need to kind of smash them out of it. Don't know what that was. See, so you can, you can just teleport straight back. And that kind of keeps you in the action a lot more. Slug kebab. Delicious. Mom. Increases max HP. Mini boss. No. There's quite a lot of generous auto targeting. If you are close enough. Strange egg. Nice. Aha. Uh -huh. This is the sh shop. Yeah. Reloading. More likely to drop any kind of items when finishing a room. Increases the invulnerability time. Uh, I'm going to have that. Un until I start getting better at the game... The, the potential for dropping more uh, things to make up for my atrocious lack of skill. No. Crud. Took unnecessary damage there as well. Bong. Uh, up. Aha! Right, let's have another go at this boss. Nope. Bonk. Bonk. Oh dear lord. Oh. There's a lot going on on those screens. Right, let's unlock that, because having those extra 2 uh, HP to start us off with will go down nicely. Did I take damage from them? Ow!
Yeah, th this guy's actually not so bad. He's only actually got one attack. Increases re Oh, yeah, I need to use the gun more. Increased blast damage. Uh, this was the altar. Should probably make sure we get this every time we see it on the map. Stun locker. Enemies are stunned from... Oh. Ooh. Let's have some more HP. Although, to be fair, it's max HP rather than... There's a maggot there. Go down. Right. Boss again. No. Oh, the spikes. I forgot about the spikes. Ah. No. No. Oh. You've got an awful lot of maneuverability in the air, but with my amount of skill to back it up. Let's get some more HP. I mean, it's on the bottom row, so the game's clearly designed around you being able to get that early. Right. But yeah, I'm really liking this. I mean, obviously, if you don't like ro the 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 rep the rep no, 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 the repetitive nature of roguelikes, you're going to find this kind of game a bit irritating. Weapons drop randomly upon finishing a room. Weapons, eh? The weapons can drop randomly. There's no guarantee. Being a little bit more methodical. Oh, balls. Where am I going? Up. Chop. Precise shotgun. Last to reload speed. Recharge pack. Good start. Take it.
Nom nom nom. Two HP back. Don't mind if I do. I'd like to just just complete. I'd like to just complete the first boss before I sum up my thoughts. Yes, max HP is all well and good, but... Hmm. That was an oddly easy room. I'm still wondering if there were things hidden around. But I'm guessing not. Oh! Okay. Bonk. Oh, damn it. I think dashing in and then hitting Y straight away is the best way of dealing with them. Um, I don't feel equipped for the boss here. Can we... Get anything from the shop? So giving back one HP is not a lot. I don't seem to have a huge amount of choice. Right. Oh. oh, I hit the spikes, damn it. Yeah, those spikes are harsh, putting them there. Start the ordeal with a more powerful blaster. Bab, damage on stunned enemies, minigun.
There we go. Take that back. I don't know whether the things stick around. Should probably test that. Ah. Oh. No. Oh. Just trying to conserve HP is uh, difficult when you're as bad at games as I am. But, for example. You do get time though. It is it is me being bad. It's not the game that's at fault here. Slowly recharges. Right, enemies being stunned for longer. Let's try that. Reveals the entire map. Okay, that's a nice little... Uh... I do find it interesting in a game that, the, that is this fast-paced that there aren't slightly more health pickups. No. Oh. Oh, he can hit above you on that as well. I don't know where you're supposed to stand. I think he's just supposed to be down at the bottom. Start with a more powerful gun. But the thing is, I'm, not, I'm just not using the gun. Ooh, you need three for that. I wonder how you get... Hmm. Oh, for God's sake. I think part of the problem 
that I'm having is that I'm just a spammy player. And I think the game very much rewards... Less spammy play. So I'm concentrating quite a lot on, on, on trying to stay close to the enemies. But actually, the game does a pretty good job of doing that for you for the most part. I also kind of feel that you need to hit your bash button ASAP. Just to avoid taking unnecessary damage. Increase the combo. Gives back an HP. I'll take it. Ooh. Trying of blood. Judges drop more items. I'm going to take that and see if we can use the gun more. Because it seems like we're supposed to. Oh, God damn it. Oh, do I have... I think I might have to defeat the mini boss. Let's find out. Damage on stunned enemies, don't mind if I do. Let's see if that's... Yeah, so you've got to defeat the mini-boss before you can have a crack at the boss. Good to know. Good start. Take him. No. Nope. Yeah. Whew. That was satisfying. Mom. The Still Bastion. So wait. They got stunned for quite some time, actually.
different soundtrack for this area. That was me dashing. Interesting. Max ammo. Wow. Um, so we, we started to get some slight bullet hell elements. With uh, these energy orbs that are sticking around. Uh, oh. No way forward there. Ouch. So it does have a nice charging animation before it does anything. Shot. Sword damage. Shotgun. Can't get through there. Shrine of blood. Blood. Floor is lava. For each enemy killed while not touching the ground, we get 10% sword damage. Ooh. I'm going to try this one um, just because I'm going to wrap this up soon anyway. And I do like the idea of uh, the floor is lava. No. Nope. Oof. Lucky. No. <laughs> oh. Back to the chiming tree. I assume I'm going to check two things now. Ah, we've got a uh, second tree. Allows allows to throw, allows you to throw bullets back at enemies with a smash. So after defeating the first boss, you open up this tree here. Crystallization. The accumulated blood crystallizes into judge blood when going back to the tree from being knocked out. I think Judge Blood is our skill points. Fury attack that recharges over time. Aim during fury. Projectiles destroyed by the fury are converted into ammunition for Blast 32 and maybe HP. Hmm. Uh. More powerful gun, I guess. Right, so one final. Th That's the tree's got more chimes on it, hasn't it? But I'm assuming this puts this back at the start. Yeah. So every time 
you're gonna have to go through the entire game again but each run you're gonna have your additional perks and so on and so forth to work with you know more powerful blaster and so on and so forth that's gonna do it for damage and tries scourgebringer 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 who knows thoughts great soundtrack i like how music changes when you are in combat i've always liked that um controls are tight controls are fluid the exclamation mark when the enemies are about to attack indicator is very very useful for somebody like me that prompts you into hitting your, your smash button um yeah it, it's just all round very very fun and if you like the the kind of grindy repetitive nature of roguelites um then this is very much going to be your kind of thing it's got a little bit of a metroidvania map going on but not really a great deal i mean it's not actually a metroidvania map is it it's a, it's an it's an explorable map it's not metroidvania because you don't have abilities um that help you explore you've got everything well you've got most things off the bat but yeah it's a cool little game uh, and it's not particularly expensive, but it is in early access. So if this is your kind of thing, you can pick it up on Steam. But I think it's like 12 or 13 quid, something like that. Or if you subscribe to the Xbox or Windows Live Game Pass, whatever the hell it's called. Really memorable name. Um, it's here as part of your five or a month subscription or whatever it is in your, your regional equivalent. I think you can still get the first month for free or the first month for a quid, something like that. I would argue that if you like roguelites, um, this is very much worth your while. Hope this has been informative and educational for you. I... What was that? Something to do with the right stick. Is that to do with the, the aiming? I don't know. Either way, that has been... Vroom. That has been Scorchbringer. Hope you've enjoyed. Until next time, folks. Thank you very much for watching. Cheerio. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, why not click the like button and consider subscribing. Remember, you can ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live. And until next time, cheerio.